down with this group, and it is a very unique group that's gotten the Vikings to this point. Right, Don? Oh, absolutely, Jim. You know, some of them were saying that they were not going to wear sleeves today. I can't wait to see how many come out actually with sleeves on. But you said that off the top, Jim. This O-line has been through a lot with Phil Lodeho going down, also John Sullivan. They had to regroup quickly, and now they've become the only line in the NHL to be healthy and together every single game. And yes, they could boast the fact that they're the guys in front of Adrian Peterson, the NFL rushing champion. I had a chance to sit down with them and perfectly in position in front of me, I might add. I know what the defenses see when they come against them, but it was time for me and others to finally give them they're due. Well, don't, said don't, no, that's not the offer. We do this, we do this. No. The Vikings offensive line is having fun, and why not? They're the only O-line in the league to play all together all season long, and they're the guys in front of the NFL's rushing champion, Adrian Peterson. I think the O-line is a little bit kind of like Secret Service, you know. We only hear about you if the president gets shot sometimes or if something bad gets, you know, happens, and you guys should be celebrated right now. Well, I think it's an offensive line that's kind of the point is uh, we're not noticed. And, you know, I think all of us take pride in people like Adrian and Teddy and the receivers getting the yards, Rudy. Um, you know, that's kind of, I guess we're a group that kind of likes that, you know. I mean, it's nice to tell, have someone pat you on the back, tell you a good job. But at the end of the day, when Adrian's got the rushing title and Teddy's throwing the ball, I mean, that's what, that's what really rewards us. Pro football focus is a thing where you're the top center in the NFL. They're giving you, like, even a number, 28.6. It's almost like a marathon sticker people have on their cars. Uh, what do you think about that? It's not something I really pay attention to. I guess I don't even really know how they get their numbers, as, you know, has been documented. But I think any time one person on the O-line gets kind of credit for something, I mean, the credit goes to everybody. A rookie starting 16 games. Have you ever thought about that, especially at this position, how difficult that is? And... What a big deal that is. No, you really don't think about that much, like Joe said. Um, really focus on trying to get better every week and um, try to make, you know, not, not make the same mistakes uh, that you did the week before. So really my focus and stuff was really just trying to get better every week. Matt Khalil had his struggles last year playing through injuries and public outcry. But this year he is back and strong. We, we got a great offense line coach. We got a great room with these guys. Um, and, you know, we constantly watch film. We constantly work on things. And, um, you know, I think I'm playing a lot better. Um, Brandon's been doing a great job next to me with Joe at center, all these guys. So, um, you know, uh, they've got my back. Um, you know, we're a tight-knit group, so um, it, it wasn't too hard to bounce back from that. Does it feel good when he gives you kudos? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I appreciate that. Especially everything you went through. I know that you, especially being hurt last year, wanted to come back out and prove, you know, that to yourself that you're healthy. You really don't realize how much you miss the game uh, when you're away from it. You know, uh, enjoy being around these guys. And uh, when I was hurt and it was taken away from me for a whole year, it's uh, hurt me. Uh, I miss these guys, miss being out there battling with them, uh, you know, just uh, glad to be back playing, playing well uh, here next to Matt. You know, he's made me better. I'll give you some kudos. <laughs> and uh, just uh, enjoy playing the game. Like when you came in, you had one start, right? One start under your belt before the season. How was it for you to kind of find your way? Oh, it was exciting. Um, it was coming in to, into a training camp as a starter. Um, it was just... It was an honor to have the, the trust from my teammates and my coaches. Uh, just enjoyed the ride, and I'm looking forward to the game on Sunday. It's going to be a good one. Who is, would you say, the smartest guy on the solo? I guess he has to be. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Who's the funniest? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Who's the most likely to cry at a sappy movie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who eats the most? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the biggest jokester? <laughs> Look at me, don't it's somewhere over here. Yeah. Who makes the best pizza? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he has people. Yeah. But. He does have people for that. As you know, Matt Khalil with his own pizza parlor called Pyology. Now, a warm pizza sounds really good right now to me, you guys. But right now, Sam Newton from the Vikings PR is going around handing free, out, free hand warmers out. And I'm going to tuck some anywhere I can find some room because it's getting a little chilly out here. One of those heaters I showed you in the first block is already out on the Seattle sideline bench. So they're scrambling to fix that beforehand. 
So we will just have to brave it together. We're having a little media dance party in between all of our hits down Media Row. So we're doing whatever it takes to stay warm. And hopefully the O-line will as well. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thanks very much.